Do that walk with me Will you have on my throne Somebody shout Jesus Club offering. Come on, one, two. Let me hear you. Whoa, he's worthy to be praised. Good morning, church. Good morning, people of God. Good morning, good morning, wherever you are, greet yourself. Good morning. I know you've been waiting. God's time is always the best time. But we do not want to keep you waiting this morning. I know many of us have connected since, I mean, for the past one hour, you have connected and you've been praying and asking God. Is the man of God coming on the air? Yes. But remember that God's time is always the best time. Praise the Lord. So wherever you are right now, open your lips and begin to acknowledge the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the ancient of the the Holy One of Israel, by confessing your sin. Remember, a soul that sin it die. And that is why you have to make your mind or have it at the back of your mind that every morning you have to confess your sin or whenever you have to stand to pray. Jesus Christ said, when you stand to pray, forgive. Forgive that those that have offended you so that your Heavenly Father will forgive you. So anyway, you are right, right now. Go ahead, once again, confess your sin. Remember, today is the 13th day. Today is the 13th day of the ninth month of the year 2021. So anywhere you are, distance is not a barrier. So open your lips and confess your sin. Confess your sin, Heavenly Father. I am a woeful sinner. I have sinned against heaven and earth. I bow them before thee, O Lord. I ask that you forgive my numerous sins. Cleanse me, O Lord, of my numerous sins. Cleanse me of every... Sin I might have committed, known sins and unknown sins, indeed in thought, in ways, and action. Whichever way and manner I might have seen, O Holy Father, I bow down before thee. I reference your holy name and I ask that you forgive my numerous sins. Cleanse me, O Holy Father. Cleanse me, purify me, and sanctify me this day. Cleanse me this day. Wash me with the precious blood of the begotten Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wash me, Holy Father. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities and cleanse me, O Holy Father. From every sin I might have committed, known sins and unknown sins, indeed in thought and ways and action, cleanse me. From every sin I might have committed, knowingly and unknowingly, Father, cleanse me. Father, purify me. Purify me. Wash me this day. Wash every soul under the sound of my voice. Wash every soul under the influence of this telecast. Wash us completely. Cleanse us in totality. From the crown of our head to the sole of our feet, cleanse us this morning. Wash us this morning, Holy Father, so that we may be worthy to receive from you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, what separates us from healing is sin? What separates us from receiving is sin? What separates us from being in your presence is sin? Therefore, Holy Father, this morning, cleanse us completely. Purify us in totality so that we may be able to stand before the holy place and to receive all that you have prepared for us this day, the first day of the week. This day, early in the morning, Father, remember your promise early in the morning. 
Holy Father, this day cleanse us. Thank you for cleansing us. Thank you for washing us completely. Thank you for purifying us. In the name and blood of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. Can I hear everyone say Amen? Can I hear every soul say Amen? And Amen. People of God, now that our sins are remitted, the Father will remember our sins no more. Quickly take your Bible to Psalm 1. Remember our things. Things never change because our God is unchangeable God. So open your list right now. I wanted to open your list and take a Bible. Psalms 1. Psalms 1 says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of ungodly, nor stand in the world of sinners. Nor sit in the seat of scoffers, for it's like the love Lord and the Lord that he meditated at night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. And whatsoever he does, he prosper. The ungodly are not so, but they are like their shafts, which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly will not stand in judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows who are righteous, who from ungodly shall perish. Amen. Peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May we quickly turn our Bible to Psalm 121. Psalm 121. Anyway, you are, remember that distance is not a barrier. This is where the power lies. Take your Bible right now. This is the power. Take it, take it, take it. Turn your Bible to Psalm 121. Psalm 121 said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. Who made heaven and earth? He will not suffer thy foe to be moved. He that keepeth will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth, put your name there, prophet Isaac, I will not slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade upon my right hand. The sun shall not smite by the day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve me from all evil. The Lord shall preserve my soul. And the Lord shall preserve my going out. And the Lord shall preserve my coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Can I hear you say Amen and Amen. Now, people of God, remember today is the 13th day. Hallelujah. The 13th day of the ninth month. The month of September 2021. So turn your Bible, according to our doctrine in this commission, turn your Bible, the Psalms of the days of the week, which have to be in your head, from Psalm 1, Psalm 2, Psalm 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and it goes up to 30, when if you're on the 30th day of the month, it goes January or February, February it goes up to 28 or 29. It all depends on the year. Then, on the month that go to 31st, it goes to 31st of the, of the book of Psalm. Hallelujah. So let us quickly turn our Bible to Psalm chapter number 13. Say, how long would thou forget me, O Lord? Forever? How long shall I take counsel? I mean, how long shall I hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul? Have on sorrows in my heart daily. How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest those that least my enemy say I prevail against him. And those that trouble me rejoice when I'm moved. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he had dealt bountifully with me. I will sing unto the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. Peace in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can I hear every soul say Amen and Amen. Let us pray. Let thanks and praises, honor be given to the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let praises and thanks be given to the Holy Father through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let supremacy, authority, beauty, reverend, all be ascribed unto the Most High God. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Even now and forevermore, amen. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, the one that lives forevermore, the one that is, was, and is forever. Even now and forevermore. Amen. Holy, holy, 
Holy Father, we have come before you, before your throne of mercy, asking for thy mercy, thy love, thy protection, thy deliverance, thy healing, thy restoration, thy protection, thy upliftment, and our salvation. Father, we say, praise and honor be given to thee in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Wonder walking God. The God that promised his children that they will never go hungry. They will never sleep hungry. He said the best of the air may lack and the fishes of the sea may lack. But those of your children will lack nothing. Therefore, Holy Father, I remind you of your word. That those who follow you will lack nothing. Father, look at your children. Look at Wendy. Look at Maria Patricia Leodru. Look at Lorraine. Look at... Each and every one of us. Look at Longe, look at Ismail, look each and every one of us. Look at Rosmina, look each and every one of us. You know us by name. Nothing about us, O oh Lord, is hidden in your sight. Nothing about us is hidden. Our heads are numbered. You know everything about us before we were formed. While we are still in our mother's belly, you know us. You know Samantha, you know Juneda, you know everyone. None of us is hidden in your sight. Remember your promise. Remember your promise. Remember Adegwa. Remember Sarah Manda. Remember, O oh Holy Father, the promises. You are promises upon your children. Remember Patrick Moore. Remember each and every one of us. Holy Father, nothing about us is hidden. Look at Olos. Look at your children, Sibonga. Sibonga, from all over the world. Look at Shea's nuns. Look at Mukava. Look at every one of us. Look at us, Holy Father. Look at your sons and daughters before your holy presence this morning. Jehovah, let there be a turnaround in the life of every soul under the sound of my voice. Let there be a turnaround upon these ones. Let there be a turnaround upon Longi, Shelley Robinson. Let there be a turnaround upon Westanda. Let there be a turnaround upon each and every soul under the sound of my voice this morning. Let there be a divine visitation. And those who will watch after now, those who will tune to this prayer, Father, look each and every one. Nothing that troubles your children, you're not aware. Nothing that troubles Wendy, you're not aware. Nothing that troubles these ones, even those that did not mention their name. Those that are clicking and those that are not clicking. Nothing about us that you are not aware. Holy Father, the hour is now. Glorify yourself. Glorify yourself in the life of Sangwe. Sangwe. Glorify yourself in the life of Patrick Morgan, in the life of Lunga, in the life of every soul under the sound of my voice. Change. Oh, Holy Father, whatsoever that need to be changed for the world to see these ones and know that you are our Father and you change it not. That you are our Savior. That you know us from the beginning just as you know our beginning to our end. Oh, Holy Father, this is the hour. For our son Jesus Christ said the hour has come. Glorify your son that the son may glorify you. For you have given him power over all flesh to give eternal life to all that you have given unto him. Father, I ask for eternal life upon these ones. I ask for eternal life for uh, Sibylina. I ask for eternal life for all the family. Go, go rejoice. All the family under the sound of my voice. Every soul under the influence of this telecast. 
or I ask for longevity. I ask for jobs. I ask for laughter. I ask for marriages. I ask for childbearing. I ask for peace. I ask for promotion. And those things I did not ask your father, you know. You know the innermost thought of every man. You know what your children have never made known to no man. You know it. Therefore, Holy Father, look at this one that I just watching. This one that just tuned in now, who is dying of pain. Father, thank you for the healing upon this one. Thank you for the job. Thank you for this one that is expecting a result from a doctor. My Father and my God. You change it not. Thank you for those that walk in your vineyard day and night. That has nothing to eat. I thank you because this day they shall never lack food in their table. Thank you for those that are thinking about their job. Thank you for Lee. Nyati. Thank you for those that are thinking, where do I go from here? Thank you for you have made a way. Remember, oh Holy Father, that you specialize in impossibility. Where the thought and plan of man end is where you began. Oh, Holy Father. And early in the morning, you began a good thing, a new thing. Father, began a new thing in the life of these ones. Began a new thing in their marriage. Begin a new thing in their career. Begin a new thing in their foundation. Begin a new thing in every area of their life, Holy Father. This I ask in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing about Priscilla. Nothing. That you do not know. You know the marriage is trouble in the family. You know the death. You know the lack and want. Nothing I can say. That you do not know. But this day. This day Jehovah. You have brought an end. To every suffering. Every pain. Every disease. Every agony in the life of these ones, including non blind including these ones I did not mention their name, including the men of God who are suffering in their various ministries. You know them, Holy Father. But this day, those pains and agony, those diseases, is over. Thank you for the testimony. Father, it begins with me. And it begins with those I have mentioned their name. And it also begins with those that did not mention their name. Those who carry their document presenting, going for interview, waiting to be called. Those that have been interviewed, waiting to be called. Today, I release their names. I release their letter of appointment. I release their job. I release peace in their home and marriages. In the name and blood of Jesus Christ, King of glory. There's nothing I can say that you do not know. But Holy Father, the grace you have given unto us this day to come before your holy altar has brought an end to every challenge, to every trouble, to every troubled soul, to every troubled family. You have brought a solution to their problem. You have brought peace to their home. You have brought internal life. You brought salvation. Cloning to the life of charity and love. Cloning to the life of their daughter Fiona. You know what trouble. You know what she's going through. You know everything about her family. Her children. Oh Holy Father. Today I arrest that spirit. Behind the problem in her family. I arrest that spirit. I arrest that power behind it. I arrest that power. Today I decree immediate change in her life. Immediate restoration. Immediate restoration. Immediate restoration. In the name and blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God and my King. The immortal Redeemer. The unseen and unseen. 
the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac. You know the time and season. Nothing is hidden, O oh Lord, from you. Thank you for the grace to stand before your throne of mercy and to pour our heart to you. Thank you for the grace to pour our heart this morning to you. And Father, look at each and everything we mention and look at everything we have not mentioned. May, O oh Lord, may it please you because of thy son Jesus Christ of Nazareth who died and rose and lived again and lived with us because of him and his promises. You have brought to pass all our demands and petitions this morning in the name and blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father, for the testimony concerning the job. Thank you, Holy Father, for the testimony concerning the promotion. Thank you, Holy Father, for testimony concerning the houses, the properties, the healing, the restoration, and the salvation of their soul. Thank you for removing their loved ones from the hospital, from the sick bed right now. Father, as I'm praying, I pray and heal them in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Father, do all that we ask you this morning in the name of the Lord of Jesus Christ. Those whose children Satan has stolen their heart and they have gone wayward by stealing, by killing, by destruction. Father, those who Satan have taken away their brain and put on dummy that they can read and not understand. Father, today you have restored their brain, you have restored their organ, you've restored their heart, you've restored their teeth, you restored their gums, you restored their eyes. You have restored their ears. You have restored their fallopian tube. There are those who do not see their menstruation anymore. Today, as I'm declaring, their period has begun in the name of Jesus Christ. Those whose fallopian tube have closed, today, it has been opened in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who doctors have said that it is fibroid and they will never carry children, today, by my word, I decree immediate conception. They will conceive and they will give birth to children of their desires. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my Father and my God, those who are saying, where do I start again? Today, you have started a new life with them. Those who set a has stood in their head, that they do not think direct anymore. Today, you have restored their brains. Those who are looking for their documents, where do I get my documents? I want my visa. I want my passport. I want my permanent residence. Father, today, those visas are released. Those permanent residences are released. Those passports and citizenships are released. Those tenders are released. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty and everlasting Father. What about those, O oh Holy Father, that are drinking and smoking and going worldly? Today, that spirit has been terminated in their life. That spirit has been terminated. I terminate that spirit. Of drinking, smoking, going wayward, sleeping outside. Those who sell their, those who do all manner of things that are not of you. Today, the spirit behind it is terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for total reconciliation. Thank you, Holy Father. We give you praise. We honor you, Jehovah. Remember Abba. Early in the morning, you bless Jacob and host of others. This morning, thank you for the blessings upon your children. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the mercy. We give you praise because you have answered. Thank you for the life of Savior. Thank you for the life of all these ones and that is under my voice. Thank you for their life. Thank you for their life. Thank you for the testimony that I've just begun now. 
now, 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 as we speak. In the name of the Lord, Jesus Christ. Thank you for that hard replacement. Thank you for that organ replacement. Thank you for the, those who can't breathe, who are right now in intensive care. They can't breathe. They are struggling to breathe. But Father, you have opened their nostrils. You have given them life again. They will breathe. And that disease is gone forever. And never return your disease. Never come back to this body. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, take your hands off them. Take your hands off their career, futures, and destiny. And hell. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you for the life of Tertius. Somewhere. Thank you for the life of all these ones. Jehovah. We sing unto the Lord. Because you have dealt bountifully with us. We sing unto you. Her heart rejoices in our salvation. Her heart rejoices in thy salvation. If we sing unto you, O Lord, because you have dealt bountifully with us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. We give you praise. Father, there are so many, millions of people, souls all over the world, that will listen to this prayer. Father, as they listen, let there be instant manifestation and testimony in their life. Let there be instant manifestation and testimony in their life. Let there be instant manifestation and testimonies in their life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the healing come upon their life. Let restoration come. So that they may come back to testify about the prayer of today. The 13th day of the month of September 2021. Holy Father, I thank you. You answered me always. And this day you have answered me. This day you have answered me. Because that child that I've been drinking and smoking and never listened to the parents have ceased to drink, have ceased to smoke, have ceased to wear life. And his life and her life have been restored. That child that is stealing and because of that has been given a new, a never, another name that is not from you. Father, that spirit that entered her that spirit that entered him to steal have been terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. That drunken husband, that separation and marriage have ceased. That joblessness have ceased. That organ, that heart have been replaced. That kidney failure has ceased. That stroke have ceased. In the name of Jesus Christ, that poverty have ceased in that family. That rejection have ceased. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. Can I hear the saints say amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory, 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 glory. People of God as they turn around. Just go ahead and wave your hand anywhere you are. Wave your hand and give him praise. Give him praise for he has answered. I do not want to be tedious with you because you've been waiting since morning. You have been waiting, but I have released what I've been waiting for the Lord to grant me the grace to release unto you. So go ahead and wave your hand and give him thanks. Give him praise. Give him praise for the testimony. Testimony of the job. Testimony of the career breakthrough. Testimony of reconciliation. Testimony of healing. Testimony of salvation. Testimony. Testimony. Testimony of those things I did not mention in this program. Give him praise. Give him praise. He's worthy. He's worthy. Just as you have trusted in his mercy. Remember, we live by mercy. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Holy Father. We worship you, Lord. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Can I hear you say amen and amen. People of God, I do not want to take you far. I just want us to once again, sing praises to him. Remember, early in the morning, you bless your and host of others. I'll be standing with you by his grace. On the morning devotions and other prayers, just as usual. The LCP you know, with Prophet Isaka, is still there. And I want to thank each and every one of us. 
that have been given their time. And I also want to thank those who have left the, the platform and now they are coming back. I want to thank those who never connect again and say, oh, because the man of God is not there. I want to thank God because your life has been restored. I know, remember I said earlier, the day my father and the Lord of Prophet Joshua was taken to our Heavenly Father to live in the Spirit.